This video is for educational and infotainment purposes only. It is not intended to encourage or glorify the use of illegal drugs, violence, or criminal activity in any way. With the arrest of Ismail Zambada Garcia, aka El Mayo, who is considered by many to be one of the most successful drug kingpins in history, the last of the original leadership of the Sinaloa cartel has been taken off of the streets. Which begs the question, who is now going to run the drug cartel that the DEA says is primarily responsible for the huge influx of fentanyl into the United States? Well, you're about to find out. I'm Joshua Roberts, attorney at law, and you are watching Lawyer Up. This is episode five of the arrest and trial of El Mayo. In this episode, we will be discussing who will be running the various factions of the Sinaloa drug cartel going forward. The answer requires a basic understanding of the history of the cartel. Now, we won't rehash the complete story of everyone's life and times, as I have full-length videos on El Mayo, El Chapo, Los Chapitos, and really every other major player in the long history of Mexican drug cartels. But here is the 60-second oversimplified summary. Now, the Sinaloa drug cartel was originally founded after the dismantling of the Guadalajara cartel. Its original leadership consisted of Joaquin Guzman El Chapo, Hector Luis Palma, and Ismael Zambada Garcia El Mayo. Now, Palma was arrested in 1995 and extradited to the U.S., where he served a jail sentence until 2016. He was then deported back to Mexico and imprisoned for a double homicide of two police officers. He's currently incarcerated in the Altiplano prison near Mexico City, so he's been out of the picture since about 1995. After his departure, the Sinaloa drug cartel was primarily run by two men, El Mayo and El Chapo, with several of their sons, once they became of age, acting as lieutenants in the organization. And while El Chapo has spent a lot of time in and out of prison, having twice escaped, El Mayo had never set foot in a jail cell ever. Now, recall that in 2016, El Chapo was extradited to the United States and imprisoned for good. So, several of his sons, known as Los Chapitos, stepped into their father's leadership role with the cartel. They would then share leadership responsibilities along with El Mayo going forward. Now, it is rumored that El Mayo became ill with diabetes approximately a decade ago and that his sons had stepped into his leadership role, at least to some degree. And now, with El Mayo's arrest, it is assumed that his sons will take over his faction of the drug cartel full time. So, who are these guys? Well, going back to 2016 and looking at both sides of the equation, there were nine sons involved in cartel activities between El Chapo and El Mayo, any of which could potentially have taken over leadership of the cartel. And yes, there are daughters and there are son-in-laws that are involved in cartel activities, but not at the very top of leadership, which is what we're talking about in this video. Now, Guzman's sons have led a faction of the cartel known as the Little Chapos or Los Chapitos. Zambada's sons have led a faction of the cartel known as the Little Mayos or Los Mayitos. They're also referred to as Maiza. As of right now, 2024, several of those nine sons that originally made up these two groups have been imprisoned or even killed. So that begs the question, who specifically is left to run this multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise? So let's start with El Chapo's side. Joaquin Guzman Loera El Chapo has been married at least four times and has at least 15 kids that we know of. Of relevance is wife number one, Maria Alejandrina Salazar Hernandez, with whom El Chapo had two kids. 
Ivan Archivaldo Guzman Salazar, and Jesus Alfredo Guzman Salazar. They are the oldest Chapitos, born in 1983 and 1986, respectively. The other wife of relevance is Griselda Lopez Perez, with whom El Chapo had three boys. Edgar Guzman Lopez, Ovidio Guzman Lopez, and Joaquin Guzman Lopez Jr. They were born between 1986 and 1992. Of these five, we know that Edgar Guzman was brutally murdered back in 2016. Ovidio Guzman was arrested from his home in Jesus Maria in January of 2023, and he remains in detention in the United States. And Joaquin Guzman Jr. was just arrested along with El Mayo in 2024. He is also in jail. So those three are out for leadership. That leaves the two oldest sons, Ivan Archivaldo Guzman Salazar and Jesus Alfredo Guzman Salazar. They are the oldest Chapitos. And even though Joaquin Jr. was just arrested, he was really a rung down from Ivan and Jesus who have primarily controlled El Chapo's faction of the cartel for some time. So this really isn't new news. Now what is going on on El Mayo's side of the faction is much more interesting. Ultimately, he had four sons that have been involved in leadership activities with the organization. All but one of his sons have been arrested at one time or another. But as we sit here today, all four sons are out of prison. So when we're talking about El Mayo, he's only been married once and has at least eight kids that we know of, four boys and four girls. Of the boys, we have Vicente Zambada Nibla, AKA El Vicentillo. We have Ismael Zambada Imperial, alias is Mayito Gordo. We have Serafin Zambada Ortiz, his alias is Sarah. And then we have Ismael Zambada Sequerios, alias El Mayito Flaco. So let's start with Vincente Zambada Nibla, once believed to be the heir apparent to El Mayo's portion of the Sinaloa cartel. He would be arrested in Mexico City in 2009 on charges brought in Chicago, extradited a year later to the United States, where he cooperated with authorities against his father and other cartel leaders. He was released not long after appearing as a key witness in the 2018 El Chapo trial. He had faced the possibility of life in prison, but was sentenced to 15 years after then U.S. District Chief Judge Ruben Castillo credited him for what the prosecutors called unrivaled cooperation. He was released from prison in May of 2021 into the FBI's witness protection program. He's not in prison, but it's hard to imagine him being re-welcomed into cartel operations. So we can safely mark him off the list of potential leadership. The next two sons, Ismael Zambada Imperial, Maito Gordo and Serafin Zambada Ortiz, known as Sarah, they're kind of in the same boat and shrouded in mystery. Now, Maito Gordo was arrested in 2014 in Culiacan, extradited to the United States in 2019, and sentenced to nine years in California after allegedly cooperating with the United States government and pleading guilty to several drug trafficking charges. He was released in July of 2022 and deported because his sentence took into account the years he had already served incarcerated in Mexico. Now, it's not entirely clear where he is or what role he has, if any, with the Sinaloa cartel. Then there is Serafin Zambada Ortiz, alias Sarah. He was arrested in 2013 by the DEA at a border crossing in Arizona. The U.S. charged him with importing large sums of cocaine and marijuana into the U.S. from Mexico. He, too, is alleged to have cooperated with the government and was sentenced to five and a half years in prison an unusually low sentence for a high-profile drug case. On September 11th of 2018, he was released from prison and has also kind of disappeared. So it's not entirely clear what role, if any, these two have with the Sinaloa drug cartel. But even if they were welcomed back, it would be hard to see them assuming any high leadership level without really reproving their loyalty over several years. 
Finally, we have Ismael Zambada Sicarios, alias Mayito Flacco. He has never been arrested or imprisoned and has been the most stable leader of Los Mayitos over the years. Maito Flacco remains on the DEA's list of the most wanted fugitives and is unquestionably the most powerful of the brothers in leadership. So Maito Flacco is the clear leader of El Mayo's faction of the Sinaloa drug cartel. In fact, most of the cartel world is awaiting his response to the alleged betrayal of Joaquin Jr. enforcing his father, El Mayo, into boarding a plane bound for the U.S. So those are the three sons acting as leaders of the Sinaloa. First, for the Chapitos, it's Ivan and Jesus, and for Le Maiza, it's Maito Flaco. Are there other small factions of the cartel not directly tied to Chapo or Mayo? Yes. Stay tuned for an update on those. And the biggest question, what is the current relationship between the Chapitos, Ivan and Jesus, and Maito Flacco? Well, that depends on who you ask. It's an interesting story, it's unfolding, and we'll update you on that very soon. So make sure you subscribe to get all the updates regarding this and other cartel matters. That's all I have for today. My name is Joshua Roberts, attorney at law, and you've been watching Lawyer Up.